My name is Estevo Pafor. I'm one of the co-founders of Team Music. I'm here at NFT NYC. We're very excited because we signed quite a lot of artists uh, already uh, to, to be brought to our platform on the Casper blockchain. And on Casper, we can guarantee uh, the, the price of, uh, of, of the gas fees, so there's no surprises there. And yeah, that's all going to be run on the, on the Casper blockchain. Yeah, that's the first day at NFT New York. There's a lot of energy around it. I'm excited and we want to be part of it. There's so much excitement around building, even in this bear market. That's why we want to make sure that we support builders to build on, on uh, Casper. That's also why we're here in, at NFT New York, uh, to help developers, to help ecosystems grow, uh, to build projects on our platform. Good morning, buenos dias, guten morgen, schönes Wetter heute. Welcome back to the X Frontier. That is all the German you get out of me. Just kidding. I know a tiny bit, but as we saw that Casper Labs is at NFT New York City, there's a lot of exciting things happening on the Casper network. The whole ecosystem is continuing to grow, even in a bear market. And that's one of the thoughts that I wanted to start off with today that despite the bear market, Casper is continuing to build. That's one of the things you want to look for. And that's one of the things that intrigues me about Casper is their nonstop development. A lot of crypto companies either make it or break it during a bear market. This is when your grit is tested. This is also when a lot of retail investors lose focus. They lose interest in crypto in general just because of price action isn't going to the moon. But again, we have to look beyond price action. We have to look at value being developed behind the scenes, the infrastructure that is being laid out for the future value of utility because Casper is building for utility, not hype. Now that I got my rant out of the way, we have this from Casper Labs. This is actually today. CEO and co-founder, we're going to have Renal Manahar presenting at this Acquires Virtual Decentralized Web Conference around, I believe it's 12 p.m. Pacific. I'll be keeping tabs on that. I'll actually be releasing a video of that later on today. So keep an eye out for that. We'll kick things off with this tweet here by Casper Insider, giving us an overview of the different projects that have launched on the Casper network since the launch of the Casper pad. We have obviously the Casper pad, which is a launch pad for, launch pad for different projects coming on the Casper network. We have the Swappery, which is a decentralized exchange with automated market makers currently uh, supporting the Binance Smart Chain to Casper with Phantom uh, and ETH to come as well. On that note, we know that the DEX for the Swappery is now live on the testnet at the Casper network. Definitely go give this a try and provide the feedback because that is one of the things that Casper thrives on is the feedback from the community to make things better for the user experience. Mainnet and farming coming soon after the community feedback. If you plan on using this swappery, definitely go ahead and check it out. You'll definitely have to sign up with your Casper signer, but it gives you a chance to kind of peruse through the website, get a feel for this, see what you think about simple user interface. Pivoting over back to this tweet, we also have SkyBridger, which is the infrastructure, the bridge between Casper Network and the Binance Smart Chain. There are going to be many more bridges to come on the Casper Network as well. Lastly, we have this Kunt marketplace oh my god i still struggle to pronounce that if you guys know how to pronounce that i'll leave that in the comments down below but we have this marketplace launching on casper so as a reminder if you participated in the kumt ideal whitelist that is today so make sure you jump over and buy purchase your allocation you can access that through the casper pad on twitter or through the kumt nft marketplace on twitter as well if you participated in the whitelist, you'll be able to buy the Kunt token through the Casper network or through the Binance Smart Chain option. Rant number two, I live by a military airbase. They have jet fighters flying consistently throughout the day. It sucks sometimes trying to record a video because you can be midway through your sentence when those suckers are blasting. And if you're familiar with them, you know those things are so loud. But anyways. 
we have this updated tweet from Casper Pad regarding the Kunt NFT IDO. And we can see that it shows that community is buying at a very minimal price, which won't allow us to build the Kunt NFT at the level we plan to. Good news is the IDO is open for another 27 hours. Your investments are the, the deciding factor. Indeed. Again, if you participated in this whitelist, make sure to go purchase your allocations. Show some support for the Casper Path, the Casper community. That is how this community will continue to grow. That pretty much wraps it up for today's video. Just a quick little update on some of the things going on. Remember, keep in mind that I'm going to be dropping that update at the Sequoia Decentralized Web Conference with Renal. So keep an eye out for that. I appreciate you if you're still watching. You truly are a pioneer in this space. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you found value in today's video. I appreciate you all, and as always, remember, nothing ventured, nothing gained. This is the way.